Hey guys, Rich with Rich Rebuilds here, and today we're going to bring up the Tesla Model S door handles. And as you know, you are not a true Tesla Model S owner until your car has been on a flatbed, or one of your door handles has developed an issue where you could no longer enter the vehicle. Now I did a video a while back, and there's a link in the description below on how to replace your own door handles, but today we're going to try to make it so that you never have to do that again. My friend Chris from EV Tooting Solutions saw that video and has been working with the sexy handman to develop a bulletproof door handle solution, and we're going to see that today. But before we get into that, I just wanted to say how I met Chris. He was a vendor at an EV event where he was selling some really cool products. I checked them out, didn't buy anything, but when he wasn't looking, I went to the back of his car and stole like 15 key fobs. Anyways, here he is. Today we're going to review some of the reasons why door handles fail and also look at some of the new products that we've developed to fix those issues so you don't have that problem again. Alright, what do we got here? So, we have a bunch of different things here. We've got an original, this is a first generation door handle. Oh, wow, okay. The way you can tell the difference is because of the ribbon cable here, which connects to a position or a pressure sensor here. Yep. So when the door handle comes out like that, that's how it knows to pull and open the door for you. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, so this is the original that came with yeah. like the first 2012 cars, Yeah, 2012, right? 2013, that's the original door handle for Gotcha, and I see here, they actually left this part of the circuit board exposed, so water could probably get in there pretty easily, huh? Right, absolutely. Nice, nice yep. job. All yep. right. So speaking of, of water intrusion, yep. uh, this is a second gen door handle, and even this one has issues where you can see there's corrosion. Oh, the yeah, 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 so yeah. So even though it's sealed up, there's water still getting in there. Yeah, I see that down here as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. So on this handle here, the door handle doesn't present. And the reason for that is there's a gear right here that has broken off. Oh, wow. Is this a common thing? Yeah, it's a common thing. So this is a cast piece of metal. Yep. And because of that reason, over time, it gets work fatigue and, and it breaks off the ears. Okay. So that metal gear mounts on this metal shaft that goes all the way across the door handle. That's the pivot point. Okay. And the ears that hold it on break off. And that's what the gear is no longer, yeah, the gear no longer engages the electric motor here. I see. So after the first generation door handle that was made, they decided to get rid of the pressure switch mm -hmm. and go to a micro switch design. Okay. So this one here is the first version of that type of micro switch. Okay. So one micro switch tells the door handle when it's extended. The other one is when you actually physically pull in the door handle and it makes the door open. Okay. This next one here, they've tried to make the rubber or the insulation a little bit more flexible. Mm-hmm. Because if you look at this one, you can literally bend it in another direction and it stays just like a paper clip. Right. So if you bend a paper clip back and forth enough times, it's it breaks. Break. That's correct. Right, exactly. So that's ultimately what happens. Either the insulation is brittle and it breaks and water gets in there, or the wire itself physically snaps over time. Gotcha. And the reason for that, if you look at the way this moves back and forth, the cable for the switches is constantly moving back and forth. So over time, it's going to break. So that brings us to what we've done to make this better or make it not happen anymore. So this is a silicone wire. As you can see, it's much more- Very flexible, yeah. Very flexible, you mm -hmm. can go back and forth. Mm -hmm. It's a braided wire on the inside, which also makes it stronger. Yep. Still using factory switches, just like the, the ones from Panasonic. Right, but why did you put that rubber thing here? Like, what's that for? So, on the factory ones, there's a plastic cap. Water still will get inside of there, mm -hmm. and you'll have corrosion issues there. So instead, we use basically a resin to seal it out and make sure that there's no way water can get in there. I see, okay. So they're 100% waterproof. The other end is a waterproof connector and it's a factory connector. So it's just like... So it's plug and play. It's plug and play. It's just awesome. like the original connector. Okay. And how about, is there a fix for these as well? I think there's all kinds of problems with these door handles. Do you have a fix for that too? Yes, yeah, so we actually went out, redes well, didn't redesign, but copied the original hand, the original piece. Yep. So it fits exactly like the other one does. Oh, this is, is this a different material? Yeah, so this is stainless steel instead of a cast piece of metal. I see. And it's also machined, so there won't be any kind of issues with brittleness or you, this, this won't happen anymore. There's also a set of plastic bushings on the inside to help with the load being transferred over the shaft. Oh, nice. Yep. Makes sense. And do you, so what do you do with these? Like, do, are these something that you sell individually is this a service let's just say that you know what i'm a tesla owner my car's out of warranty mm -hmm. uh what can i do can i send you my door handles do i just get the parts for like what do i do here if i can't physically do this stuff provided you can get the door handle out of the car yep. which is arguably one of the harder parts of it right um we do offer all of these pieces individually yep so you can buy the gear separately if that's the only failure point you've had where it doesn't present i would recommend doing the switches because it's almost as much work to do that at the same time you might as well got their out right, already, right? Where they're, while they're already out 
Um, or you can send your entire door handle to us, we'll rebuild it, and then send it back to you. Nice. That way there's no issues with firmware, it's already programmed for your car, it's plug and play. So the one of the reasons why this is so flexible is so that when this when it's actually mounted to this here, there won't be as much stress with it going back and forth. Right, right, exactly. Yep, and then the other thing too is the way we route it, instead of going around the perimeter, yep. we go up through the middle and then out to the two. Oh, I way. see. Oh, okay. So it's not a hard 90 degree. Gotcha. The way, especially here, you can see where it's it's a pretty hard bend. Gotcha. For it to all fit. So by rerouting it, using flexible wire, and then waterproofing all the connections, yep. as well as making it a, an OE connector, you should never have another issue. Nice. Awesome. Thank you, Chris, for showing us different variations of the doors over the years. Again, this is the first generation. Uh, and this is the second? Yep. Second and this generation. is the third generation. Tesla's made some revisions over the years, obviously, to their products. They went from a ribbon and uh, to it being sealed, but not really that sealed because uh, there's still some corrosion in here to this version as well. Now, here's my question. Now, is this third revision uh, less susceptible to water intrusion because of the way it is? Or what do you recommend for this? How can we make this even more foolproof, or is this pretty much the best way to do so? Probably the best bet would be to get some dielectric grease, make sure it's applied all the way around where all the electrical contacts go into I see. the module. Yep. Similar to what you do on a spark plug boot on an, on an ice car. Right. Or any other outside electrical connection for like marine applications too. Gotcha. Electric. All right. No, that's pretty cool, man. Hey, thanks a lot, Chris. Yeah. I appreciate it, buddy. Thanks, Rich. You have appreciate a great day. You by. Thank you, man. Take it easy. So this solution is DIY friendly. You can either remove the handles and send them out, or you can buy the parts individually to install them yourself. Now this is the current car that's getting its handles replaced with the new and improved version. Now there's a sexy handman installing the new wiring harnesses into the handles themselves. The owner of this car drives for both Uber and Lyft, so just imagine that this door handle will be opening and closing probably close to hundreds of times per week. So this will be a great stress tester for this new product. We'll keep you posted as to how things are going. Well, either way, guys, let me know what you think of this redesign. Check out my buddy Chris's website, EV Tuning Solutions. Link in the description as well as link to how to install your own Tesla handles below. We're going to collaborate on a lot of really cool new products together. So you guys, please stay tuned and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.